following instructions from unjustly incarcerated for 231 days, former Prime Minister Imran Khan's PTI core committee has issued instructions to all its regional chapters to prepare for rallies and protests. The core committee also announced that the party would celebrate Pakistan Day today throughout the country, including Islamabad. During its meeting, the core committee also stated that it will ensure former ambassador to Washington, Asad Majid, responds to Donald Liu's comments in the congressional hearing. Political victimization of PTI's president and former chief minister, Jaudhuri Parvez Ilahi, continues. He has sustained multiple injuries as a result of a fall in a small jail cell. Jaudhuri Parvez Ilahi is one of the many senior citizens belonging to PTI, including Dr. Yasmin Rashid and Ajaz Jaudhuri, who have been unjustly incarcerated for months now. Calls are growing for reports of European Union and Commonwealth election observation missions to Pakistan to be publicly released. Both organizations had sent teams to Pakistan to independently observe the conduct and tabulation of results of the February 8th elections. The Commonwealth and European Union have confirmed that their reports have been issued to the new government in Pakistan formed as a result of the very elections they reported upon. These reports are allegedly being blocked from public release by what is known as the Form 47 government, a reference to the document used to fraudulently change election results in order to hide them from the Pakistani public. The February 8th elections were arguably the most controversial in the country's history, with overwhelming evidence of widespread pre- and post-poll rigging, interference, manipulation, and fraud. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility after camouflage-clad terrorists attacked a popular concert venue complex near Moscow with guns and incendiary devices, killing at least 62 people and injuring 145. Kommersant, one of Russia's largest newspapers, however, reported that Russia rejects the ISIS claims, stating that the attackers were Slavs, above average height probably using fake beards and mustaches, and were likely part of the Ukraine-backed Russian Volunteer Corps. Sputnik's correspondent reported that people in Moscow flocked to donor centers to give blood after yesterday's terrorist attack.